Kava's Locket, Voodoo Trinket, or Foil Wrapped Candy with a Nougat Center. Look all you want, but don't take it. Now the arrow points the opposite way. This should be interesting. Or brought with peril. This voodoo throne is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Now, the Psy Daisy. She can't get up, but I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. It has the picture of a fractured scientist on it. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. It's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. Hex me now. I wonder what this does. Come on in. Um, enter my mystical lair of voodoo. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to... Uh, Pardonnez-moi, I can't quite remember. You've missed my musk? Quoi? No. Are you feeling all right? You seem, how you say, bizarre. Actually, I may have really swallowed some bile earlier. Uh, that is nice. I would be going now. Wait, while you're here, I want to ask you something. I understand that you speak the language of giant manatees, and I'm not referring to your silly accent. How do you know of this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. I don't have anything on tape. I need to learn manatee, pronto. I feel no need to give it to you. You will just tarnish it with your mumbo-jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for these sciences. Marquis. Bring me the book of the manatee language, or I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse, because I am not believing in it. <laughs> With that, I must go. I have ever known. Heavens to hippos, I can practically taste my underpants. <laughs> no, it is impossible. She could not have done this to me. Hmm, perhaps I will bring her this silly textbook, just in case. Whoever could it be? It's open! I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. <laughs> my motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. Now scram! Hm. Learn the enchanting language of the giant sea cow in 12 easy steps. Who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? Whoa, that 
was like massive, instantaneous liposuction. Not that I've ever done that sort of thing. That ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Tongue of the Manatee, Travel Edition. Just a dabble, do ya? Whoops. That was, um... Actually, I don't want to talk about it. I think this is the manatee we rode in on. It looks okay, considering. It's the travel edition. I'm gonna have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy.
it is. The legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, forded countless enemies, seven give or take, traveled the entrails of a manatee and courted marine life all for this one moment. Huh. I thought it would be bigger. better already. Time to take La Esponja Pequeño to Elaine. Oh, I got it! We finally got it! We really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, I just gotta get back to her and... I knew it! Huh? No, Dacaba, it's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer! This is the end of the line! Really? Hear me out! The guy, I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. But what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... Gentlemen, this is why you always have a plan B. So what's plan B? Very funny. Ow! Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. Your sword! Thanks! It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. If I could just reach that rope. Morgan! Can you reach the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the Blade of Dragota can. Whoa! Come back with my sponge! You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love! Moose, bring me my prize! Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? Oh. Right. Hey, he forgot the sponge. Pack him isn't, and bring her about! Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me hearties! Hey, Morgan, they forgot the sponge! <gasps> They're coming back! Do something, Guybrush! First things first. There's no mask like a rubber tree mask. Bring up another cannon from the hold! Sorry, little buddy. He's resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Hope you're still hungry, fella. Think about it, keeping that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. Well played, Threepwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Are they holding hands? Flippers, but yeah. Huh. I really think they're 
that is? I don't know. Wherever nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Yes, it is. As refreshed as my days as a cabana boy in Borneo. Captain? Oh dear, 